It is written in John chapter 16, verse 13. Um, I'm just going to go through verse 13 through 15. But when he, the spirit of truth, comes, he will guide you into all the truth. He will not speak on his own. He will speak only what he hears and what he will tell you what is yet to come. He will glorify me because it is from me that he will receive what he will make known to you. All that belongs to the Father is mine. That is why I said the Spirit will receive from me what he will make known to me. So many people, believe it or not, actually hate this scripture right here because they think that if anything in in spirit or whatever you hear in spirit has to be compared to the Bible. That is actually not true. Now it is true that the Holy Spirit will use scripture to go back and confirm it, but the Holy Spirit is not bound in the Bible as many mega churches or some Bible believing teachers or Christians like Vadi or John McCarthy and some other big names that I cannot think at the top of my head but they will go on to say that if you can align this book with um with what supposedly the Lord told you or spoke to you then it came from the Spirit of God now a lot of scripture actually rebukes the Bible teachers in the mainstream Christianity of today. Many people actually hate this, but this is actually true. Many people will actually use the excuse of marijuana was made on this green earth and will say that because God made this, I can use it. And what people forget to realize is there are things for us to do and not to do. Like, for example, like the trees that are in front of me, they are met there for a purpose. They are met there to obviously produce oxygen and to receive water and nutrients. And obviously the trees are meant to give us oxygen because that's how God designed the earth. Now, for frivolous things, or whatever the word is for it, just basically worthless things, um, the Lord is not pleased with, with any Christian just doing things for pleasure. And I'm talking about sinful pleasure. And the Lord will rebuke those who do things like smoking marijuana or taking psychedelic drugs, all that stuff leads to demonic possession and oppression. And things like tattoos are very vanity. They are idolatrous. And that also leads to demonic oppression and possession. So I wanna just give those examples because a lot of things that mainstream teachers that are in church today are in great apostasy because they think that if you hear a good word from the pastor and it's aligned with the bible then it's credible no the credible evidence is in spirit why did jesus then tell um about what was written which was obviously that came out of Jesus's mouth because Jesus is the word of God. We need to be having, we, excuse me, we need to have the Holy Spirit residing in us, not just a book that we can just say infallibly the Holy Spirit can speak to us through the scriptures. Now, I will not say that the Holy Spirit will infallibly use scripture. The Holy Spirit will use scripture, but that is because the scriptures were inspired by the Holy Spirit. But not only that, there are things that have happened in real life that people wrote things down 
things were written by men, of course. But what the message I'm trying to get at is, is that we need to be taught by the Spirit, not by just reading a book, not by this person or that person, even if that person or woman is a man or a woman of God in truth and in spirit and is in the body of Christ, we need to go to the source that they went to, that man and woman of God went to, and that is Jesus. Jesus is the source that we need to go to. He is the manna that came down from heaven. He is the flesh and blood that we need to eat and drink. Those who have an ear to hear, may you hear. May Jesus bless you.